I'm Tim, and I work in sales at a video equipment manufacturing company. Let me tell you how, working with my global support team, I resolved a recent customer complaint. As usual, I started the day by accessing my email. Mary, our product support specialist, had emailed me about an issue with a recent shipment to one of our new customers and wanted to connect with me. I could see in Outlook that she was on the phone, but available in IM. I sent her a message and asked her to call me when she was free. Next, I listened to a voicemail message from Dave, the same customer. Hey Tim, this is Dave. I just got the lenses and settings aren't right. In his message, he explained he had received lenses with incorrect settings. In a recent IM conversation, Dave had shown interest in additional orders with us. We couldn't risk dissatisfaction. Mary called back just as I was returning from a customer meeting. The call came into my smartphone, desk phone, and PC. I took the call on my smartphone. When I got back to my office, I easily moved the call to my desk. We needed to speak with Carmen in manufacturing to explore solutions. Adding her to our conversation was simple, just a quick drag and drop from the buddy list. No setup or bridge was needed. The three of us quickly determined that manufacturing had received components with incorrect lens assemblies from a supplier. Mary escalated to a video call so that Carmen could show us the steps to adjust the lenses. Right away, we dispatched a specialist to Dave's location to make adjustments for the units already in the field. When the call was finished, Mary recorded a quick video at her desktop, introducing the problem to the field and included Carmen's solution. She posted her video in the product community. The video was encoded and community members were notified and able to access it on whatever device they were using. Carmen also posted a timeline for the return and replacement of the defective components. Account managers who were impacted by the revised timeline could get answers about shipping schedules on a discussion thread. I then set up a WebEx meeting for that afternoon to address the issue with my customer. Many of Dave's team members joined the meeting, using different devices from a number of different locations. And participants were able to view each other in high quality video. A question came up that required an answer from Carmen, who was not on the call. I used Instant Message to send her the WebEx meeting link. With just a click, she joined the meeting from her smartphone and answered the question. Later that afternoon, we briefed senior management about the situation, the resolution, and the potential impact on customer deliveries. I posted the video of that call to the community to show our management's commitment to avoid such problems in the future. Dave was pleased with our agility and response. Our business relationship has continued to grow, and he placed another order yesterday. Collaboration isn't just a vision, it's how we work.